so welcome to this PBT vlog. Basically, our parents get to come. Um, they had like we got the option to invite them for a week to come and serve all potatoes and go to Mola. And we're currently driving back from a beautiful ashes retreat. We're in a trunk. Last vlog. Yeah, we're kind of sitting in a trunk right now. <laughs> That's great. Um, but I also have this white rose for my mother, and I'm so excited to see them. And I might accidentally hit my father over the head with a high girl, but it's okay. Hi everybody! Alright, good Okay. Go for it. This is Colleen's vlog, and we are at dinner having in Guatemala. Just, in Guatemala and Antigua to be precise. And to be even more precise at the Yellow Tree Lemon Hostel. <laughs> Lemon Tree Hostel. Something like that. Lemon Tree Hostel, that's what it's called. <laughs> and it is wonderful to see Colleen again. And, and we can't stop staring at her. That's right. <laughs> even, even though we got here like three hours before she did, it was very much worth it. And we're so excited to be with her and her all of her squad mates here. <laughs> What's half a lappin? Um, we're having to make bracelets. We had a ring toss earlier, but then um, got rid of, or like, handed out all the candy. But, oh, we did? Yeah. <laughs> it was a human ring toss, so it was pretty fun. Yes, he was doing a great job. He was. Yeah. He was killing it. He was killing it. <laughs> yeah. this, you want this one? Um, that so good. <laughs> hey guys, okay, so we got back from the carnival, slept on the car back, was so tired, went through all the things my parents brought me, so excited, they brought me like Chick-fil-A sauce and homemade brownies, and last night we actually had my grandmother's lemon cake, which is so cool, um, yeah, so I got to like look through clothes and like, I don't know, it was really fun, and now my mom and I are listening to a podcast from um, my home church, Hope Community Church, um, that we both haven't gotten to listen to yet. Um, yeah, so we're just like listening to that and taking notes and eating out, which is so fun. So we just sat here for how long? Two hours? No. Two hours? And I basically was telling my parents everything about India, which is great. Um, I got entire medium pizza and ate everything but one slice. And we've been sitting here so long their food has already been taken. <laughs> but yeah, it was fun to just sit and talk and I think we're gonna go out to dinner tonight, but pretty much just hang out. I know some people are going zip lining and like doing mine road tours, but I'm kind of over being a tourist. So yeah, we're just hanging out. So today's been a really great day because we had the whole day with Cal. And um, after lunch, we went to an artisan market and they had beautiful, beautiful things. And um, that was fun. And now we're here at dinner and Colleen's eating shrimp and she's so excited. Yes, I am. <laughs> That's good in there too. It's actually funny, Madeline, her parents are over there, and the Susie's are over there too, so just all here at the steakhouse. <laughs> okay, so we're sitting here at dinner, and there has been a jazz festival going on, which like y'all have seen in the vlogs, um, but it just started, and it's literally right across the street, right there. So, it may be screaming during dinner, but that's okay. You know, some nice background music, mood music, <laughs> to go with the lights. I just want the world to know that I have steak. <laughs> I'm very excited to eat it. First bite. Good? Delicioso. <laughs> Good Spanish. So we were just trying to get back to the hostel because we were a little tired after dinner, you know, full stomachs. And we ran into one of the processions that goes on here. And people come like from all over the world to Antigua to see these processions. And so these huge floats, um, they think that like they have to carry them like as if like they're carrying like picking up their cross like Jesus says like pick up your cross and carry me but like they think that they physically have to carry this like burden as he carried the cross when like that he actually did that for us um yeah so it's really sad like there's like sad music on like it's is being burned um yeah but this is like part of their uh the catholic religion here um definitely a religion not a relationship like um what we have but yeah, it's interesting to see, you know, different culture, different part of the world. There's some music. Good morning. Say hi. 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 So today, um, 
we had breakfast, hung out for a little bit, finally did my housing application for Wheaton, so that's good. Um, and now we are headed to go on a little hike um, to this top, the top of like this cross that apparently like overlooks Antigua. Apparently it's really gorgeous. So decided to go for a little hike because then we ha we have this morning off because then we have. It's gonna be lit. Because <laughs> we have ministry I'm this so hype. afternoon. <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna be keeping it 100 on the hike. Are you done now? <laughs> to the top yeah the stairs initially were really steep but then they like literally even down it was genuinely like 15 minutes so nothing crazy like Nepal but yeah really beautiful there's a cross you love me that's mom why. just asked where the cross was where is it mom <laughs> it's right there <laughs> Well, <laughs> we're going to put stoves into two houses and we're going to meet the families and just hang out with them, pray with them. I don't know what it's going to look like. Um, so that's really exciting. Yeah. We're coloring with this cute little boy. He likes to make noises like, <gasps> and keep coloring. <laughs> he just smiles a lot. Yeah. He just like smiles and looks at you and goes like that, like breathes on you. And they're building a stove over there and it's fun and it's PVT. Woo. <laughs> Say hi to the vlog. Hey vlog. Go in there and see dad. But so we're doing the stove. Here's this so far. And oh, it's loud, but my dad. Good old 6'4. Doesn't need a ladder. You look goofy in your goggles. You got it, Liz. I believe in you. Maybe. Alright, Mama Oh, yeah, you got it. Five supervisors. It's great. Alright. I'm going to take the broom and just tap it. So, all of our parents are down there making the stove. We're here making bracelets. Way, way more productive, right? Having a long time. <laughs> Thriving. Yeah, there's a little friend here. Cute. Sometimes he looks scared of me. But he's coloring with that. Pretty picture that we made. So I do believe that all the parents did this themselves. They're about to go through the roof. I'm gonna try to go. I'm gonna try to go. Shane and I did this. Yeah. Shane, get in the vlog. We did this. This is a thin look at the cup. Lower. So listen to you like this. Hey guys, so today we are going to a Beauty for Ashes retreat. Um, well, actually like a follow-up from the retreat, and it's basically a women's ministry where they get to come and share their story um, because genuinely everywhere in the world, like women's, uh, women will um, just like suffer in silence, and so they just like want to open up a space for like the Lord to speak into that. Um, yeah, so we're going to go and pamper them, which is going to be so fun with our mamas, and um, they're actually going to like... Uh, Rake, who's in, like the leader of it, um, is gonna like read some identities of like who we are in Christ and like that's our identity, or, like no one else can give us that. And yeah, we're just gonna read those and then all the women are like gonna repeat it and it's gonna be super duper awesome. Soy libre. Soy libre. Soy adoptada a la familia de Dios. Soy adoptada a la familia de Dios. Soy nueva. Soy nueva. <laughs> Mama Slager has a baby. Like, Do and she's staring at me. Roll the vlog in. Okay, so we came back second time. So amazing. So we all had different tables. So we had makeup at one table, nails at another table, like hand massages at another table with perfume to smell good, and then hair. And so keep in mind, like it's really hard to translate as you're like doing things. So most of the time we didn't understand what they're saying. They don't understand what we're saying. But like the joy of the Lord, which is like 
oozing out of all of us and then they were all laughing and having a good time making facial expressions and they walked away just feeling and looking really beautiful and it's just so exciting and it was great and we love them. <laughs> also, mm, hilarious because they were laughing at Lily's height. It was so fun. And they thought that my mom, six foot, was yeah. her hair mom. Yeah. She's tall, very blonde, and white. <laughs> and not those things. <laughs> None of those things. <laughs> How was it for you, Mama? It was wonderful. Actually, kind of <laughs> makes me teary just to think that we could spend this day with them. Hmm. I don't know. I'm Aww. getting emotional. <laughs> <laughs> Even though everybody's nails who I did looked horrible, <laughs> I kept praying for <laughs> make this look beautiful. <laughs> It was a great day. Mm. Anything else? Mm. Ah, cute. I am a physical touch of person. Uh, it runs in the family. <laughs> she loves hugs. Anyone else? Anything else to say to the vlog? Madeline. It was so much fun and so sweet. <laughs> and yeah, I'm excited to come back. Mamas, anything to say to the vlog? Just a great time. Great time. Thank you, girls. Yeah, I'll never posted. forget it. Yeah, never forget it. Yeah, awesome. It's amazing. Thank you. Papa, how was the kids? Well, we had cuatro, cuatro años. Niños. Well, I don't know, four four-year-olds. Oh, 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 okay, okay. I thought you were saying, I thought you were trying to, yeah. Hey, come on, I, 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 I speak you the Spanish. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that there. <laughs> so I had four four-year-olds. Okay. So, uh, it was fun to play with the kids. How'd you paint the nails? Uh, actually, Madeline's father. Mm, so yes, Steve. Some nails. Yes, he did. Okay. So Steve, the main soccer ball. And we kicked, uh, we kicked around the soccer ball. We did a lot of coloring, a lot of coloring, a lot of coloring. So we are back here at the hostel after ministry, and we're just kind of chilling. Um, apparently, my mom has some birthday presents for me, so that's exciting because my birthdays they leave tomorrow, and then my birthday is Friday or Saturday. I don't actually know. It's the 23rd though. Um, yeah, so that's kind of fun. Yeah, we just ate lunch, nice packed lunch, sack lunch, had some sandwiches and chips. So, yeah, now we're just kind of hanging out and kind of have to pack, um, just because, like, they leave at 8.30 tomorrow morning, and then I think we are leaving before 11, and I packed up all my stuff, and they were like, oh yeah, be, like, ready to hike or like walk a lot with your packs. So I'm wondering if we're taking checking buses, which does not sound fun, but we'll see how that goes. So for my birthday, my birthday isn't for a few more days, but my parents bought me some of my favorite food and candy that I didn't even ask for, like kind of forgot if that existed. Um, but the best thing ever, they also like got me this really cute World Trace bracelet. Um, but the best thing literally ever, which I'm sure you guys participated in, was my mom got all these letters from like my friends and family from home, which is literally so sweet. And I can't look at them until Saturday, but I seriously thank you so much if you wrote me a letter like that seriously means so much. Like I'm so excited to open these. And yeah, thank you so much. I love you guys and love you mom. Thank you for putting that together. I probably should be doing it since January. Literally the sweetest. Um, but anyway, so we are now packing up. That entire thing is going home with my parents, that entire duffel, um, just with like clothes that I bought that I'm like, I'm not really wearing. Or I don't know, just like a lot of things. There's also a huge thrift market here that I'm gonna buy basically my entire college wardrobe in because it's super cheap. Um, so I'm sending like so many of my clothes home, but that's okay, you know, sending home like my sleeping bag, my tent, just stuff that I don't need now that we're staying at the base. So gotta pack up because we live tomorrow. So we are currently at the chocolate museum in Guatemala. They make a bunch of different types of chocolate and we're deciding what to get. Mom got some chocolate tea. To try. So something for my mom. Orange chocolate. Great if you're watching this, it just acts like it's a surprise. More and More and No. what this step? We're gonna make a competition. So tonight. I'm not gonna share everything, but it was a really cool night. Um, there was some washing of feet involved and some blessings, which was really, really cool. Um, and we decided to go out. And if 
I don't know if you guys can tell where we are, but it's absolutely gorgeous. You can probably tell by the bench that so we're actually at McDonald's. Um, it's so, so nice. Well, probably the most, over there. the most beautiful McDonald's we've ever been. So yeah, we're just eating a little late night snack. <laughs> eating some chicken nuggets. Yeah, it's our last night and then we have to say goodbye tomorrow. Last breakfast. I said last breakfast. Last breakfast with the sweet bread. <laughs> They're packing up to leave. Hi, Bye, daughter. Hi, Dad. I, I, I think we are the Davis. We are yeah. Davis. All right, you just went by me. Okay, I got him right here. All right. Bye -bye. I love you. Say bye, bye. to the boys. Bye. -bye. Girl, we love you. We're gonna keep it 100. We're so hyped. It was lit. Should I chase you guys down the curb like I did when I was little? That's it. <laughs> love you guys. We love you so much. Hi. It was a really great week. I'm really going to miss their hugs a lot. And just like, I don't know, just talking about Jesus and talking about India. It was just really fun to just talk to someone's ear off and them not complain. <laughs> But mom, dad, I love you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for everyone who supported them in doing this and has been supporting me on this race. I love you guys. Bye.